until another one concert series on Tiger Lane takes place. All right, uh, first, congrats to uh, Justin, his, his squad. He's, uh, he's done a, a really nice job here and uh, deserved uh, to win today on, on our end. Uh, very disappointing. You know, I've been on the other side of a couple of these wins like that, and I know what that feels like. But it, it's crushing to be on the other side. You know, we did not uh, play, play particularly well. Again, congrats to them. I don't want to take anything away from uh, Patrick Lynch. He's one of the best quarterbacks I've, I've seen in my time here. He can make every throw and is very poised. Uh, but we, uh, it was very disappointing the way we played, and that starts with me. And I have to take responsibility for for us, for all facets of it. But uh, we were we were about as bad as you could get on third down, uh, getting off the field, and uh, at times converting those third downs. Just uh, it's, a, it's, it's a bad day, and I'm disappointed and hurt for the Ole Miss people more than, than words can really say because I understand it. I, I know how they feel about their program, and you know they deserve better today for sure. All right, fire away with your questions, Coach. How would you summarize tackling on third down and long, especially? I, I wish I had all the adjectives that uh, I mean it was as bad as I've ever seen. Can you, can you talk about the decision to go for it? Yeah. That wasn't a good decision. It's just, uh, you know, you got about a half a foot. And, uh, you, you know, thinking we really need to change this momentum to get some points is, is what you're thinking. But obviously it was uh, it was not a good decision to do. Are you talking about the one on third 10 or the one on third and 10? Third and 10. Third down at the ten, or before that one. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I don't, I don't, the one, the, the one going in, I, I Felt good about that one. Felt good about the call. They made a great play on it. Uh, the other one was one I was talking about. Hey, why were they so open on the out routes? We uh, a lot of that's to do with their quarterback. They run really good routes, and that deep out gets you running. Um, but we've, uh, you know, we, we've got to be able to play some more, some different coverages that uh, give our guys some helps and stop the run. We'll have to go evaluate it, but uh, Patrick surely can he can make all those throws. That's a difficult route to guard. You get Larry back next week, Hugh, but in terms of the offensive line and running the ball, any kind of semblance of consistency, it's just we just uh, we just haven't, and, uh, and that's got to change. Hugh, are you at a point with I mean all, the, all these quality opponents, you're not running the ball. I mean, are you at a point where you just have to say, hey, we are what we are, and open it up more, put it in chance? Maybe so. Maybe so. We'll have to evaluate that and uh, see you know, what we think going into next week. I hadn't watched the next week's opponents yet, but uh, you know, it's uh, we, we still have a lot to play for as far as our conference goes. But our uh, our character will be tested. You know. What do you think has happened to this team since the Alabama game? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to you know say. I mean, injuries have hurt obviously, but that's not the reason we didn't play well today. I've got to coach them better. We've got to have leadership in the locker room, and uh, we've got to do something to convert and get off the field on third downs. What can you tell us about Robert's situation? Uh, Conyers? Uh, Kim Dietschy, I'm sorry. Uh, Kim Dietschy had, had a concussion. Both. Uh, he had a concussion, and um, we'll go through that protocol. And then uh, Conyers had uh, a knee, which uh, I'm not sure the extent of it. It didn't look good to the docs, but uh, I don't want to say it until I hear. Were there any other injuries? Uh, Hilton got hurt. I hadn't heard about that one either. He didn't come back in, but uh, I'm not sure. For Kim Dietschy, I mean, it seemed like the defense kind of struggled right after he left. I mean, is, it, is it fair to wait for two? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't so sure we struggled as much up front as we did just on the on the back end. Um, I mean, it sure didn't didn't help to lose him, but. I don't know that that was the reason. I wouldn't say that. Or anything else for Coach? I know it's easy to think about it in retrospect, but using Robert on offense and he gets hurt in that situation. Yeah. I, get, I guess, had you guys thought about that risk when you decided to use him like that? Yeah, you, you always think about the risk, but if you don't, everybody scream. You know, I mean, you're danged if you do, you're danged if you don't. I mean, you're third and one, and he just got tackled on his head. You know, that could happen uh, any play. 
but no, I, I don't think you can operate out of fear of, of getting someone injured if it helps your football team. I think there's been a lot of talk about energy and focus about this team the last couple of weeks. Uh, did that kind of that stuff slip in the second, third quarters today? Uh, there's something missing for sure, and that, uh, that that's my responsibility. And um, I've got to continue to. Uh, I thought we had a really good week of preparation. And uh, again, take nothing away from Memphis; they're a good football team. I don't want anything to uh, to sound like I'm not saying that. But we're we're obviously not locked in uh, totally. You mentioned the leadership and locked in a couple of times. You know, what do you think? Maybe I, I don't know why I can play or something missing. Yeah, I, I couldn't answer that. Uh, you know, but we've we've we're going to be testing now. We'll find out for sure in the weeks to come. All right, anything else for Coach? All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.